My name is Severin Kala Suzuki. I'm speaking to you from Haida Gwaii off the coast of Canada. 20 years ago, I was at Rio de Janeiro at the Earth Summit and I was able to address the world delegates. I was 12 years old. I asked the world delegates to remember their children when they were in their negotiations and to make their actions reflect their words. I've spent the past two decades speaking out for intergenerational justice as a youth advocate and I've spent the the past 20 years speaking out for leadership for transforming our society from one that is unsustainable to one that is sustainable from one focused on the short term to one that has a long-term vision. Now it is 2012. The world is once again heading back to Rio. It is an essential time of reflection when we have to look at where we have come over the past 20 years and whether we have been successful in our quest for sustainability. I will be there again, this time as a mother. My perspective has shifted, but my message has not. Today we are even more desperate for transformative change. We now live in a world where over 50% of the global population is under the age of 30. We have to change to a more long-term focus, a more long-term value system. We must work against the intergenerational crimes, such as climate change. Last year I heard the French philosopher Pierre Rabhi say, we're not talking about raising awareness. We are talking about lifting human consciousness. We must reach deep into ourselves as individuals, into our national values, and into our human values and become champions for a world that will survive. This is a critical time when we cannot continue on with business as usual, when each of us has to decide whether to be leaders for transformational change or whether to stay back as part of a destructive past. We need a paradigm shift to a society that actually promotes justice, sustainability and democracy. I call on our governments for such a paradigm shift. I call on all of us to be leaders and to make our actions reflect our words. Thank you.